I'm going to show you how you can create a reverse shell using Gmail or the Gmail API. <coughs> so this is the code here. I'll kind of walk through it and then I could sh I'll show you how to, you can set up yourself and then how you can build on top of this. So up here is just kind of the initial setup code that Google has you do um, for Gmail. Obviously, if you're going to deploy this to a target or victim machine, you wouldn't have all this and you'd have it set up already, but it's here in case you want to try this out yourself. Um, so this is our main method. We're going to run it every 15 seconds, aka check the inbox for new messages every 15 seconds. Um, we're going to get any messages that are unread. And it's, this is going to return the IDs. Then we're going to use that ID here, the first ID we get, to actually get the body of the message itself. So we get the snippet out of the what gets returned. Um, this unescape is going to escape um, the HTML characters. And that snippet is all we need. We don't need the entire body because our messages aren't going to be huge. And then we're going to check the contents of the message. We have an identifier here, so that'll filter our messages out from any other messages that get sent to the inbox we're checking, like spam messages or whatever. And this is our kill switch. So if we find this in our the body of our message, then we're going to kill the thread kill the program. Um, if we just find the identifier by itself, we're going to parse parse out the rest of it to get the actual command. And we're modifying the message here. And this is what this is doing is removing the unread label or marking the message as read. So next time we check the inbox, it doesn't pull down the same message. So we're going to parse out our command, um, open up a sub process and execute that command and we're gonna get the output from that and we're gonna use that here to construct an email to be sent back to us and then this method right here is what's actually going to, going to send the output back to us so yeah create message here some message there um, and that's that's pretty much it so I'll show you how everything works So it's going to check for new messages every 15 seconds right now, the way I got it set up. So this is our, a garbage mailbox I made. So this is something that you would make and send emails to, and that's where um, Gmail API is actually set up in, so we have the permissions to check this mailbox. So this is just some other email I have. Um, so if we go ahead and put in... Let me get the identifier real quick. Yeah, so let's let's do this. So we're gonna send this command over with our identifier. It should grab it and then execute it and send us the response back in an email. So we can see we receive the message. All right, so I just checked it. All right, got the message and should send us back. Oh, I'm in the wrong mailbox, my bad. Yeah, so here's a response back. Um, we'll do another one. Or I'll show you what it looks like. So if we send one without the identifier, it's going to check it, but it's not going to do anything with it. So, let's do one more. There we go. 
This is probably going to be some big output, but there we go. Yeah, so <laughs> obviously not a friendly format, but um, you could probably fix that if you want. That output's huge, so I wasn't really expecting it to be all pretty. Um, so then we could, if we want to kill our program, we could send it the kill switch or whatever you want to call it. So when it gets that, it should it should kill the program. Okay. Yep. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna show you how you can set this up on your own. So let me. Okay. So pretty much you would follow this quick start right here step one and you also need to install pip or use pip to install google's api client so if you pretty much follow this guy you'll do it but i'll walk through it real quick so you're gonna go to their wizard you're gonna create a project and it's gonna enable the api for you um, oh, there we go. You're going to say go to credentials. You're going to say cancel. And you come over the OAuth content sc consent screen. Just put in some name here. It doesn't matter what it is. You're going to hit save. Now you're going to go create credentials, OAuth client ID. You want to hit other doesn't matter what you name it say create say okay and then we're going to come over here and download those credentials so then you would have that in your downloads and you would move it over to your working directory here and rename it client secret so it's the file we just downloaded here but just renamed client secret and then up here you put it in here also these are the scopes needed to um, perform all the actions we did so then after that when you first start up your program after you have that copied over oh, it's gonna prompt you for authentication the very first time so then you follow the link they gave you usually pops up authenticate now it's going to ask you to allow this and this is an email you'd control so you just say allow so now it's checking but what that did is it saved some credentials in this directory so it made a credentials folder in your home directory and saved it as creds.json so now from now on every time you run the program it'll just run so obviously doing all that if you were to put this on a target computer like for real then you'd want to do all that beforehand and package it up and like it's showed you got to install their API client but you would probably want to package that all up um, also you can use probably want to do some obfuscation on you know your the command you're sending to the inbox and also if some kind of someone was trying to figure out what was going on uh, call out to gmail every 15 seconds on a constant interval probably throw a red flag so you could also add in some logic there to kind of make it more sporadic or whatever you want to do but yeah this is more of a proof of concept so i hope you guys enjoyed um i'll throw some links in the description to the uh tutorials and the code so if you guys want to grab it and build on it or whatever but yeah that's pretty much it um thanks for watching